everybody. Good to see you. Uh, this is Kevin Bredding from Campus Recreation. Thanks for joining me for this strength and conditioning workout. We're going to be using dumbbells. Uh, this is a light dumbbell workout and I'm just going to take you through as if you have already warmed up. So spend five or ten minutes doing some basic stuff, get your shoulders moving around, maybe use some of your dumbbells, get some overhead prep action in uh, because we're going to be lifting overhead with dumbbells and moving around from there. So uh, be ready to you know, be already warm, be a little bit breathy, be a little bit sweaty by the time you already start and then I'll cook through these uh, six exercises in the main body of the workout. So I suggest 5 and 10 and 15 pound dumbbells uh, over these six exercises and you'll get to see which ones are heavier or not. Um, and then as each video shows, I'll just talk through it a little bit. Here we go. I'm going to hinge my hips, take a forward step, and then drive the dumbbells into an overhead reach. I want to have a rhythm to this. This should have a little bit of cardiorespiratory component to it. I'm thinking of timing and rhythm and coordination. And here I show you from the profile. Catch on the shoulder, press up, and I, like my legs are a trampoline when the weights come to my shoulder every time. And I give it a little press or a little bound and then a press up and then a recovery catch on the way down. And here is a Superman dumbbell exchange. I'm going to hold that elevated Superman position as I reach that dumbbell around to hand it off behind my back and here the really hard part is when it gets overhead I'm going to try not to let the weight touch the ground if I can help it um, even with five pounds this is quite hard so if you need to get rid of the weight for this one and just go through that motion that will be fine another cardiorespiratory drill I'm going to wind up take a side shuffle with a cross a 90 degree turn or 180 degree turn and I still catch it on my shoulder with a little elevation change like a trampoline with the legs bound and press it up. I'm going to again look for timing, look for coordination on that single arm drill. And here I'm going to give my heart rate a little bit of a break but I'm going to still keep everything engaged and stand on one foot keeping about 90 degrees on the elevated leg at the hip and go through as many dumbbell curls as you need based on the weight that you have. Um, that single leg 90 degree stance really kind of engages your core and keeps that locked in as you move through that dumbbell curl. And here I have a crossover step with an overhead tricep extension and that's going to add a nice long stretch from that weighted hand all the way down through that backward or that posterior foot. Um, so that's a little isolated tricep step or tricep extension that really drives through the whole lateral line of our body. Now here I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lean backward and press the weights in front of me and then return to the start. Notice my toes are on the ground and that's going to help me give a little bit better control. A progression is to put my shoelaces on the ground. That's going to allow me a little more range of motion which is quite a bit harder. Uh, pay attention to this one. It doesn't take much as you lean back that really introduces lots of pressure through the knees and through the quads. And here we're into our cool down. I'm going to do an overhead single arm reach in a quadruped position. Trying to breathe deep there. Uh, really letting things return back to normal after you've done however many rounds you'd like to do of the dumbbell exercises. And here's a quadruped single arm reach under. I'm just going to lay into that shape and let that melt, take a couple breaths there as I move from one side to the next. And here I'm going to start prone with my hands extended like a big T and I reach that leg over into a big scorpion stretch. I'm looking away from my foot and that serves to both uh, rotate through the spine and to open up the shoulders. And then I finish with a good old fashioned downward dog, trying to drive my nose towards my toes and really get into the shoulders. Thanks for joining me.